Listen, we don't see the competition I drop off a ransom note that your art is missing, nigga uh, Pay us in full with the money Or she gon' get her fingers clipped off like Lil Sonny, huh? m -Rack TV Have you guys heard of Streamboss? It's a new IPTV provider that gives you over 5,000 channels for only $20 a month Oh, <laughs> cool! $20 for live TV, local TV, movies, TV shows, pay-per-views, and so much more. Huh? What? If you have a Fire Stick, Smart TV, or streaming device, then head on over to streamboss.com to begin your setup process. Pay streamboss for the MREC TV. I got a special guest in the building. His face look a little familiar, but I'm gonna let this brother introduce himself. You know, what's going on? Shout out to MREC for having me up here in the spot, man. They call me P2, uh -huh. Young Preem, uh -huh. Little Preem. Me and myself, I just want to go as Preem, man, because I'm not little no more. Uh -huh. I'm not jacking the P2 thing no more. Oh. I, that's, yeah, that's like, you feel me? Like, that's some 2019, 2020 type vibe, but it's new year, new me, so we're just going to go with Preem for right now. So I'm, I'm probably going to figure out some other shit to say, uh, uh -huh. call myself in another six months or so. Okay. <laughs> We just gonna go with Prink right now, yeah, and Rick Lobb, we here. No doubt, no doubt. Appreciate you coming through, my brother. No, definitely. All right, definitely. love, love. So, now, Supreme, Kenneth Supreme McGriff. Mm -hmm. Is that your name too? Are you a junior? No, no, no. Okay. No. What's Kyle, your... Kyle, K Y L E, my name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My middle name is actually Danique, though. Mm. That's Kenneth spelled backwards. Oh, wow. Yeah, Danique. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. But yeah, I'm not a junior though. Gotcha. Yeah. So, <clears throat> when did you find out Prem was your father? I think I, I might have been like 11. I want to say I was like 11. Oh, wow. And I was like in a barbershop. Mm -hmm. And a uh, couple, of, couple of old school dudes in there, you know, you know, regular barber, have a regular barbershop talk and shit. And, um, like they always would come in there like, yo, that's that's Prem's son or that's this person's son, and then they'll have a conversation. And I'm like, yo, why the hell every time I come in, these old dudes is like, mm. they, they 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 singling me like it's a packed barbershop, mm. and they always gravitate towards me. They hit giving me money, like they, yeah, wow. it, was, it was lit. So that's so great. one so one day at um the barbershop, I just left the barbershop because mm. I used to wait for my mother to get her work. I, I was tired of going to her job on 34th Street every day mm. waiting. The 8 30 at night till she get off, then mm -hmm. we gotta come home. And so I just started going to the barbershop. Mm -hmm. And then one night she came off, she came, um, picked me up. And I just was bugging her about it. I'm like, Mom, who is this cream guy? And then she sat me down, she told me the story. And I'm like, it was, it was, it was up after that. Like, wow, oh, man. So yeah. before then, you never had a conversation with your moms about your pops' I never, whereabouts? I never, I never, I never even, who was your pops? I never even cared about that, honestly. Wow. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm one of the, I was one of those kids and I'm still the same way right now. Like uh -huh. whatever's in front of me is what I'm gonna deal with. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna go out of my element. I'm gonna stay in my element, I'm gonna stay in my zone for me. Whatever's in front of me is what we're doing, what we're dealing with. Uh -huh. So I just never really, you know, my, my, mama love held it down, you feel me? Like never wanted for nothing. Went to private school my whole life. We drive into the city every day in Range Rovers and G-Wagons and oh, shit. Like, man. yeah, mama love held it down on her own accord. Oh, her own down, wow. like, you feel me? Like, yeah, like, so. Mama love was mama and daddy, you feel me? So mm. that's that's how that went. Now, when was the first time you spoke to your pops? I want to say 07. 07. When he was on, it might have been 06. It was like 06, 07 when he was on trial. Mm. When he was actually on trial. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah. And what was that, you know, that whole situation like? Because if he's on trial, and then you never met him, mm -hmm. that gotta be like the most awkward type of situation because he's fighting for his life. Yeah. But at the same time, <clears throat> you his son. Yeah, so. I don't I don't never really feel like he like he's the type of person, like even if he's fighting for his life, even mm -hmm. if he gets sentenced to three years, to three life sentences, like he's still gonna be him. Like you mm -hmm. know, like he don't let that shit break down his mental. Mm -hmm. He's the strongest person mentally like 
Like my grandfather was in the military, so he got that military background, that 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 machismo. Like yeah. you feel me? Like nothing's gonna bother him, nothing's gonna break him. So mm -hmm. it was really like a, a organic conversation that me and him had. Like when I when I first started talking to him, and you know, he was asking me like, mind you, I'm like 10, 11 years old. He telling me, do your push-ups. What book did you read? Uh, mm -hmm. How was going on in school? Like mm -hmm. we never really talked about him. We never talked about Supreme. We only talked about Kenneth. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. that's 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 how that. That's how that um, relationship was, you know. Mm -hmm. Write each other letters. He would tell me like, "Yo, you gotta practice on your penmanship, like, or you're not writing extensive enough letters." Mm -hmm. Like, you like, he was always like telling me how to like. He was giving me the steps and the guidelines to prepare me for the real world for life wow. as I got older. So That's I, def I definitely like. Mm -hmm. He he probably he probably don't even notice, but I definitely appreciate those early on years when we when we first was building our bond and building our relationship, I mm -hmm. definitely appreciate those, those jewels and those gems you was giving me early on. Gotcha. Now, let's get into, <clears throat> after hearing who your father was, mm -hmm. and, and he had the street legendary wreck, mm -hmm. and also the whole team, Supreme Team. Yeah. How did that affect you? Like, when you found out, like, that was, like, the most infamous um, group of individuals from Queens. Yeah. What what kind of effect that had on I you? I mean, but like like I said, I was going to the barbershop or mm -hmm. whatever, and like Green Eye Bone would be in there, Bimmy would be coming through, like Tuck, Teddy and Tucker would be coming through. Like all of them, that was like the barbershop that they, that they went to. So like, mm -hmm. they naturally like, when they, I guess when they see me, like they see him. So mm -hmm. they naturally like, kind of like took me in like, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. they made me feel loved and wanted because I didn't have that male figure, you know, like, my uncle, my uncle Ben, he came home probably 2008, mm -hmm. like around the time I me and my dad were like, so he's like the person that kind of got me off the porch really, like my uncle Ben, I was like 12, 13, gotcha. he got me off the porch, he had came home and doing 17 years mm -hmm. for the Supreme Team or whatever, oh, wow. and like, he was like my first constant father figure, you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying, so definitely like, yeah, but mm -hmm. with, the, with, with the guy that was rocking with my pops or whatever like that, like, they all showed me love though. Mm -hmm. like they all they always was genuine. They came to my graduations. They would whatever. They was they, they supported was, you. Yeah, they supported me through no matter what. Coming to baseball, I played That's baseball. Right. They was coming to baseball games. They everything. So, so everything. Right. Definitely. Right. definitely. Now definitely. you mentioned um Bimmy. Now, Bimmy being part of the Supreme team. I know Bim. Salute mm -hmm. to Bim. Mm -hmm. What's your relationship like? We don't we don't got no relationship. We don't got no relationship right now. I just feel like mm. you know. He's 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 doing him and I'ma do me. Like mm -hmm. he's 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 an older guy, he's in his fifties, like there's no reason me and him should be friends or mm. and especially like a lot of the stuff that he a lot of the stuff that he that he did or like if you do something for me as a kid, mm -hmm. allegedly, if you say you did something for me, you don't go fifteen years later or ten years later and brag about what you did for me when I was a kid, like Mm. You a grown man. You did it. Did you do it out the kindness of your heart? Or did you do it to brag about it later on? So people that do something for you and then in hindsight brag about it years later, then you don't need to be around me, bro. Because what did you do it for? Well, it? let me play devil's advocate okay. in a sense. Okay. What made him feel like he had to express that? Was it something you may have said, or he just did it randomly? Anything I ever do. Whether it's social media, whether it's internet, whether it's whatever, trolling, whatever you whatever they want to call it, like I'm mm. always the reactor. Mm. You feel me? I'm I'm never the 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 I never the started. Rest. I don't start it, but I'm gonna finish it though. Yeah. Like gotcha. like it, like nothing is off like once you say one thing about me, nothing is off limits. I'm going for the gusto, like I'm going for broke. Mm. So I feel like if somebody if somebody's able to finagle a grown ass man, mm -hmm. And you're from the streets too, mind you. Mm -hmm. And somebody's able to finagle you into answering questions, or maybe you willingly wanted to answer them, but it had something to do with me. Now we go, like, I don't, all the respect, everything go out the window now. Because you open the door for it. So don't open the door and then try to, like, close my foot in it. No, I'm going to kick that mother. Yeah, what we doing? Like, you know? Like, there's no closing the door. Like, we open the door, so everything's on the table now. So y'all never had a good relationship? I mean, I, it was, it's, it's like, it's like, years 10 it's like decades removed like you feel me like i'm 25 like i was around him when i was 12 and 13 like mm -hmm. like you feel me like i spoke to him probably five times in the last 
five years, mm. ten, ten years, probably spoke to him five times. So like, what what kind of relationship is that? Like you know, like don't make it seem like it's more than what it is. Keep it real. Like yeah, you 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 did this, you did that, whatever. You didn't really. He making it seem like the, he paid for my fucking tuition or something. You you gave me a pair of used Gucci shoes, bro. Like. You didn't pay for my tuition. You didn't mm -hmm. give me money and do this with my mother. All that bullshit you were saying on Queens Flip. No, you gave me a pair of shoes and a Gucci scarf, and that was that, bro. Like, mm -hmm. but the way the way the way he portrayed it, the way he the narrative that he was trying to push was that like he was a, a, a father figure to me, or that he. But you wasn't though. Like, if you was, I'm not the type of person to, to throw dirt on your name and lie. I'm not a liar. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you what it is, even if I don't like it. Even if don't put me in a good light, I'm gonna keep it real. But you didn't do. That's not what it was, though. Well, let me say this. Do you want no a relationship with no, them? No. 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 Mm. There's no reason for me to have that. I'm gonna no. put it right no. now. No. Whoever I got a relationship right now that was cool with my dad or that was his friends, and I have a relationship, I'm supposed to have a relationship with them. The Teddy, the Tuckers, mm. like I said, uh. Whoever, whoever, he, whoever he had a relationship with, that's who I got a relationship with. So, Prem and Bim not rapping. No. No. Did your pops tell you why? No, he, my pops, mm. my pops don't talk to me about his business. Mm. But I know mm. you don't gotta, mm. you don't gotta talk to me for me to know. Like I know how to read between the lines. I know how to put two and two. I'm not retarded. You feel me? Like, but him and him and now, nah. hell no. How long you think that's been? It's been probably since he, probably since he. Was on trial probably. I want to say, he probably, he, oh, yeah, man. maybe even before that. Like, I don't, like that's that's what that's one thing I don't want to do. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to come on anybody's platform. Or I don't want to talk to nobody and speak for Prem. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's my father, but like Prem, it's we talking about Prem. Like, yeah. I don't want to speak to him. Like, he's not dead. He's not gone. Mm -hmm. He's still here. You feel me? So I feel like I want to let him do what he do. Like, mm -hmm. I want to let him talk about whatever he want to talk about, and let maybe one day in his documentary or his book or his movie he'll explain the reasons for whatever's going on, but to my knowledge, no, there's no relationship there at all. Gotcha. He hasn't spoken to my dad and I don't know how long. It's been years, it's been decades, he hasn't spoken to my dad. So whatever he's trying to, oh, I spoke to my man, this, that's my man, I, that's that's cat, bro. Mm. Pay homage, he puts you on, pay your homage and keep it moving, bro. Don't paint this picture like, oh, that's, no, it's not, that's, that's a lot, but my dad, He's not gonna get involved in all this internet shit, all this media, social media stuff. Like, he never did. He, he never did. Yeah. He's doing him. He work. He trying to get out. He's not worried about what's going on, on the internet. So he's not here to say otherwise from what this person is talking about. Mm -hmm. So a random dude on the street, he could come and get on the camera and be like, "Yo, I was with the Prem team. I did this. Mm -hmm. I had this. I had a million dollars. I was Prem right here, man. I was this. I was that." Who is to say that he's lying? Nobody's gonna. Nobody don't care about what he's talking about. The real dudes is not on the internet. They don't care about what he's talking about. Anybody can be anybody on these cameras, you feel me? Facts. Wow. Now, we got that out the way. I remember, or come, I came across seeing, I think he was going in on 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I think it was like, you was talking about one of his records or maybe an album. I forgot what it on was. On Lord Jamal? I was on Lord Jamal. You I, didn't, I, I didn't see that. Okay. But I think I seen like an Instagram post or something like that. Mm -hmm. And is it like some negative energy there? Because I, I know the 50 in your pops yeah. got their history. Yeah, but like but like I was saying, like, I, I mean, it goes without saying, obviously. Like, that's my mm -hmm. dad. Like, mm -hmm. my loyalty is with him. I don't care. Whatever the situation is, that, I came out as nuts. Like, for me, maybe. Mm -hmm. So my loyalty is gonna be with him against whatever. But like I said, that's I don't even really think it was a real thing. Like I feel like the media and like the the fifties image that he wanted to like David vs Goliath. Like he made a pebble into a mountain. Like my father don't even know. My father probably seen him two times in his life. Wow. So it's not it's, it was it was really fifty versus murder ink, but murder ink was attached to Prem, so it looked like it was Prem versus fifty. But it really wasn't that, it was 50 vs. Murder Inc. Mm. My, my father was just attached to Murder Inc. So mm. it looked like it was that, but it really wasn't though. So of course, 50 being the marketing person that he is, he's gonna, oh, street legend, this, that, mm. oh, got this hit nine times, oh, he, he gonna use all that shit to his advantage, which, so you can't blame him for that, but it's not a real thing though. It's not a real thing. 
Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an imaginary thing that just, like I said, it was a pebble that became a mountain. Now, you saying that is not a real thing. Of course, the rumors in the streets about the power of the dollar album, mm-hmm. 50 Cent, I would say, implicating your pops and yeah. Supreme Team <clears throat> and whatever criminal happened. activity, yeah. whatever, whatever. Let's yeah. just say it like that. Um, did you speak to your pops on that? Because my homie was locked up with your pops and he said he got respect for 50 and 50 never snitched on him. That's mm-hmm. what my homie said. Yeah. My, hom- my homie on Baby, he was locked up with your pops. Yeah, but I mean, snitching and dry snitching, like, mm, let's go there. Like, I feel like if you implicate somebody in your songs, if you're telling this, that, and the third, if you're trying to point people in this, if you're trying to, if you're trying to direct somebody to whatever this entity is doing, mm-hmm. that's still, like, don't put no light on this guy. Like, if he's doing him and you, whatever you and him supposedly have, let that be that off when the light's not on, when the camera's not on. Don't put the light on somebody. That, like, if this guy's already going through his shit, mm-hmm. why are you adding more fuel to the fire? So mm-hmm. you don't have to necessarily write a statement on somebody to be dry snitching or, or snitch on that person, but you feel me? If you putting an extra fuel on something that's already burning, you're not helping putting the fire out. Gotcha. You're just making the fire bigger. So all the shit that happened with him mm-hmm. is just making my, the fire that my father already had lit under him is just making it bigger, you feel gotcha. me? He amplified it, so it might not be technically snitching, but if you're saying, read my lyrics, or Prem did this, or Prem is that, or, yeah, I'm like, don't do that, bro. You, mm-hmm. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, and he did the same thing with Jimmy Hinchman, like, oh, what you, you said, like, these is real street dudes, right? So either you're gonna be a street dude or you're gonna be a rapper. Which one? You can't do both. It never works out. But I feel like he has his mind set on being both. But if you're a street dude, you're not gonna be doing shit that the rapper do, though. So which one are you really doing? Are you a street nice. dude? Are you a rapper? Are you an informant? You don't like what? Mm. What are you? An important message from Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of Basil Flux and Basil Flux for Men. If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaque Out. Plaque Out is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins. And prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856. And remember, to help unclog veins and arteries, get the plaque out. You're the plug and such You a joke's bound to happen If you slipping or you lacking I'm gripping on the matching Ready for the action Shots to make you break dash And have you do a backspin I got more kicks than karate flicks My whole team pushing Maserati whips You all IG like in thotty pics Shorty pocket broke but her body fixed Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC TV. It's got a music.